Good wood, few places in the world of motorsports or motorsports history exude so much charm or lead to goosebumps with fans of refined, fast locomotion. At the historic racetrack in Goodwood, the Lexus LFA was presented for the first time to the world's motor press. Two fast Lexus cars, which already completed the 24-hour race in 209 at the Nürburgring. Tuned just the same way, just as dirty, and just as beat up. Straight from what is known as the green hell of the Nürburgring to the track at Goodwood. Pros like German Formula One driver Timo Glock were among the racing stars in southern England. Currently, Glock's a team driver for Toyota. Here, he also got a chance to sit behind the wheel of the LFA. Like everyone else, Glock was thrilled with the performance of the LFA race car. Who wouldn't be with a six-speed sequential automatic gearbox sending the Lexus soaring to 320 kilometers per hour? All of the other test drivers were equally impressed, even though this is a car made purely for racing. Particularly nice, the incredible sound of the 10-cylinder engine. striking wet shape, a 500 horsepower V8 front engine coupled with perfect workmanship and a luxurious interior. That's what Lexus's entry into the league of super sports cars could look like if you leave out the race car styling. Among the many names of the drivers at the Nürburgring, there's Mariso, the pseudonym for the new president of the Toyota Group. Akio Toyota is an ardent racing fan who felt he just had to drive the new LFA himself. Typical LFA styling, blended with pure racing technology and the prescribed safety equipment. Found mainly in the interior, something not yet officially revealed for the series version. Things will certainly not stay like this, nor will its looks. A lot is due to the needs of a 24-hour endurance race. Here's what you can look forward to. A body made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic. A 4.8 liter engine with more than 500 horsepower. Certainly to become a highlight in the sports car segment.